transactions leave a clear paper trail, which causes the accountant to journalize and post the transaction easily. Some transactions, however, are more difficult to trace and may require adjusting entries. For this reason, after regular journal entries are made, the next step in the accounting cycle is to make adjusting journal entries. An adjusting journal entry is an entry prepared because of the passage of time or change in circumstances when no specific transactions have occurred. Adjusting journal entries are usually recorded at the end of an accounting period, after preparation of the unadjusted trial balance. Adjusting journal entries can generally be categorized into two groups, accruals and deferrals. Accrual entries typically look at events that have happened in the past but have not been accounted for in the records, typically because no cash has yet been exchanged. For example, an accrual adjusting entry is made to recognize revenue when a company provides a service but has not yet received cash, and therefore the corresponding journal entry is to accounts receivable rather than cash. Similarly, an accrual adjusting entry is made when a company recognizes an expense, such as wages expense, but has not yet paid cash for the expense. In this case, the corresponding journal entry would be to wages payable. Deferral entries recognize an expense or revenue after the exchange of cash has already occurred. An example of an adjusting deferral entry is the conversion of unearned revenue to earned revenue. In the case of unearned revenue, cash is received before services are provided. Until services are provided, the corresponding journal entry is to unearned revenue, a liability. Once services are provided, the unearned revenue is converted to earned revenue. Adjusting entries satisfy two important accounting concepts, completeness and matching. Completeness because adjusting entries ensure that every completed transaction is entered into the accounting records. Matching because adjusting entries are made at the end of the period to ensure that expenses are recognized in the same period as the revenue they help generate.